Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to secure your home computer, your home network, just overall security for your home end user. I don't really have too many videos on this and I've been asked by family members like, Pat, how can I secure my computers from, you know, the bad guys or from viruses or whatever. So we're just going to break down some steps. I found a cool article. I'm just going to break down everything and I agree with everything on there. So we'll go through that in a minute. So if you guys are new to the channel, welcome. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you guys are coming back to learn some more, let's have some fun. But before we actually get into the video, this week is DEF CON 2023. So if you guys are coming out to DEF CON or Black Hat or whatever, I'll be out there on Wednesday. More like Thursday because I'm getting there, I think at like 6 p.m. Uh, local time in Vegas. So if you guys are watching this video, if you guys are going to be out there, just hit me up. You know, you can hit me up on Twitter, on Instagram, or however you guys want to reach me. And uh, yeah, looking forward to meeting so many cool people, so many like-minded people. So yeah, let's get into the video and uh, have some fun on learning how to secure your computer. Let's go. All right, so here we are on my desktop. So like this title for this video, I'll probably make it like how to secure your home computer in 2023 or something like that. <clears throat> so I found this and I think it's pretty dead on. This is, you know, there's a few things that I didn't recommend to some family members. Like over the weekend, I had some family members call me. I know I go on rants, but that's what I'm about. So if you guys don't want to hear me rant, don't click on the video. But um, so asking how can I secure my computer? And I always say, oh, you know, the basic stuff. Don't give out your password. Don't click on any crazy links, you know, blah, blah, blah. But I was like, you know what? I'll make a little video for them and whoever else is out there that wants to secure their computers at home. All right, enough of my rant. All right, so why is it important to secure your home computer? Obviously, you know, to make sure you don't get any viruses, to protect your computers from, from illnesses, and, you know, just to make sure overall protection of your data, your PII, your personal identifiable information. Maybe there's data on your computer that you have kids' photos, you have photos from you, you have documents, you have confidential data that's on your machine that you don't want people to get, you know? So maybe schoolwork, like it says here, daily, you know, daily activity stuff like documents, whatever, schooling, work, obviously telemedicine, if you got, you know, if you're doing any telemedicine over the internet and so on and so forth. So here are some, you know, here's 10. So, uh, you know, these are 10 ways to secure your machine. Obviously the first one, always make sure your operating system, if you're running Windows 10, Windows 11, whatever OS you're running, Mac, Linux, make sure you're always fully up to date and patched. Make sure your software applications are updated. I know you get like, maybe if you're using Firefox, if you're using Brave browser, if you're using Google Chrome, maybe in the top right-hand corner, you get like update and you probably exit out of that or you know ignore it, but always make sure your browser's up to date, your applications are up to date, maybe whatever, Adobe, Reader, Acrobat, whatever you're using on your, on your machine, Wind, uh, Microsoft Office, make sure everything is always patched and up to date because if it's not, if it's susceptible to a vulnerability that someone can exploit, someone can take advantage of that and, you know, get into your computer or just do some malicious things, you know? Uh, enable a firewall. So if it's Windows firewall, you can have zone, zone, I think zone alarm. Uh, let's just right click in here and we can go. So, uh, what is a firewall? Obviously, a firewall is protecting any inbound and outbound traffic that goes in and out your, your computer network. Uh, you know, it's a network security system that monitors and controls incoming and outbound traffic based on, you know, permissions and security rules. You know, it's very, very easy to configure. Windows comes with a firewall. I'm running Kali Linux on this machine. So, but there's there's so many different different software-based firewalls, hardware-based firewalls. Like I have a hardware-based firewall in my house as well as software-based firewalls. All right, so let me make this a little larger. 200, 200. All right, so number three here is lock your computer when you don't use it. 
even in your home, you, you know, like say, like it says, you know, I don't have any animals, but I do have a child that maybe she will never come into my office anyway, but maybe she wants to be curious and just hit a, you know, if, if you have a little, a little one, maybe two, three years old, that they're curious, they want to tap on your keyboard. And what if they click on something that they're not supposed to, right? And, and then obviously they can leak confidential data and all that good stuff. So you can have a security incident and you don't want that. So be careful of who you have, who you allow to have access to your machine. And especially if it's a work machine, but this is not about work. This is more about your home, um, your personal, private computer, laptop, etc. So adjust your browser security settings. What does this mean? So say, for example, you want to, let's go for an example in here, go to settings, go to security and privacy. This is Fire, Firefox. So, you know, you can have all your data going over HTTPS. You can, you know, make some adjustments inside of your security pop-up blocker. Um, let's see, like I don't enable HTTP only, but I can enable it for all windows, for example, and then you can manage your exceptions and say, for example, I want uh, facebook.com. Okay. So I can hit enter. Now, if I go to facebook.com, all this data will be over in, you know, secure, you know, it's tracking, you can see the protection and you can see all the settings on here are protected. Come back here. We can see that it's enabled, right? Facebook.com. So I want to remove all this just because I don't need that on right now. I, I don't need that on right now, but yeah, you could do that. You know, that's number four. You can just tinker around with your browser settings and your security. The next one is install antivirus, anti-malware on your on your desktops, right? If you have Windows Defender, if you have whatever, um, malware bytes, if there's, let's see what other uh, cool endpoint protection, home endpoint. Uh, security, or well, I was gonna do protection, there we go. So, Norton, I, I wouldn't do Norton, but there's Bitdefender. We can just do, let's do best. All right, let's just see what they, they have Semantic, they have Malwarebytes, McAfee, Sentinel One, Trend Michael, uh, Micro, uh, Sophos, Gen Digital, Webroot, Windows Defender, and there's a whole bunch, right? Persky, Checkpoint, E-Step, Bitdefender, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. There's a boatload. So just make sure you have something on your endpoint that you can make sure that your data is protected. And you know, if you have any antivirus or any viruses that come in, you can you know, be alerted and take action. Number six is encrypt your data. What does this mean? Like on my local machine, I use, you know, you can use, uh, Bitdefender, you can do, you know, a whole bunch of stuff. So let's do like um, encryption, Windows. I'm just gonna do home, just, just so we can stick to the home. So you can use BitLocker. Uh, you can, let's see when there's, so I'm just gonna put software. I like TrueCrypt, to be honest. Uh, TrueCrypt was, is always good to me. But let's see if there's uh, what's out there today. But might as well just go through this with you guys. Um, IceCrypt, VeraCrypt, 7-Zip, that's more uh, GPG for Win. I never use that. You know, I, I use regular you know, Windows 10 device encryption, uh, BitLocker. ASE crypt I use, folder lock I've used. I never use certain state. Obviously, LastPass is more for a password manager. But yeah, um, let me go to, let me do TrueCrypt. TrueCrypt was a good one that I like. Um,
Let's see. It's been a minute. True Crypt. But you guys can check this out, right? Uh, let's not go there. I guess that's uh. But True Crypt was a um was a good company, and I used them in the past. They were you know they did the job, and uh, yeah, you can use that as well. There's so many different ways to encrypt your data, and then you know number seven. Anytime you are trying to go on your bank information, if you're doing any kind of confidential data transaction or like on Amazon or anything that you're maybe putting your credit card data or any kind of confidential data, make sure you're using a VPN, right? I use a VPN, I use NordVPN, but uh, yeah, that's, that's what I use. And um, on my local machine, on here, I don't really use a VPN, but on my personal machine, I do use a VPN. So the number eight here is, Password protect your software and lock your device. Obviously, like, very simple, right? Just lock your machine, right? Like, if you go here, here, we can lock the machine, or I guess not here. I just do uh, whatever, lock or log out or whatever you want to do to lock your machine. Make sure you have a password to get back into your Windows machine. We're going to stick with Windows because a lot of end users have Windows. All right, so that's number eight. And number nine here, be aware of scams and the steps to take, you know, to, to the steps to take to be safe, right? What does this mean? So say if I just made a video on like the, the Amazon scam, you know, you get sometimes you get phishing emails, you get text messages, you get a whole bunch of phone calls, mostly emails. Like, you know, people, sometimes I even get them and I'm like, and they send them to emails. Like, I'm like, how the hell do you even get that email? Because it's literally a burner email, but whatever. If someone wants to get your information, they're going to get it. So they'll send something like a Best Buy or a Geek Squad or something like, oh, your Norton has expired. Call my number. And you can check out like Pierogi or like the Scammer Payback channel. They do a lot of those kind of calls to, you know, protect people. You know, they mainly aim for, you know, elderly people because they're pretty much the most vulnerable and and it's not fair, right? So what Pierogi did and then like there was a, they just did a call center that like John Hammond was on, Ryan Montgomery. So, and, and a whole bunch of awesome folks. I watched all three days. Uh, that was sick. So kudos. I really enjoyed that. Maybe one day I can get on there. Um, but I'd like to stay on more in a DL. But yeah, like that was so awesome. And, and go visit their channel. Their channel is amazing. Um, they keep, you know, they try to catch these scammers. But the number 10 here is try to separate your sensitive computers. So say, for example, you have a work computer that you work from home on. Maybe you have a school computer that, you know, like it says here, work, school, banking, or financial transactions. Maybe separate that from something that you're going on playing video games or you're doing your email, doing Netflix or whatever you're doing, like entertainment wise. Maybe you want to separate that from the stuff that you do, confidential stuff. Like my main machine, this machine that I'm talking on now, I do have, I have virtual machines that I do my personal stuff on. So instead of having my laptop here and I have the laptop over there, like instead of having all these different devices, I have them all in one big box and I just have them virtualized in separate little cubes, if you will. If you will. But uh, yeah, that's the top 10 ways to keep your you know, home computer secure. If you found this informative, if there's anything that you would like to add, put it in the comments. I would love to hear it. And obviously, you know, like I said, you can just go to the link. I'll put it in, a, in, a, in the description. If I do forget, it's a Security Studio, how to secure your home computer. And, um, you know, say, for example, you're using Windows 10, you can come here 11 ways, update your programs and blah, 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 encrypt your data, use local accounts, enable system restore, you know, use Bitdefender Security Center, make sure you're always up to date, remove bloatware, bloatware is if there's any, if you get a HP or a Dell or something like that, and there's pre-installed applications that you don't even use, you can go to add and remove programs, whack them, get rid of them. And it is annoying. 
like it says here, you can go to the apps and just uninstall the application. Use antivirus to enable Windows Firewall. It shows you how to do that. Clean up spyware, disable ad tracker, and disable you know location tracker. I don't have any of this stuff on. And then get rid of Cortana. She's annoying. But yeah, so there's a whole bunch of ways. So uh, hopefully this has been informative. I don't want to keep going on a rant. Thank you so much for checking this out. And until next time, you know, have a good day. And if you go, if you guys are going, or if you folks are going to DEF CON, you know, if you see me around, say hello. If I don't know you, just say who you are. Because there's probably so many people that I don't know, right? That watch my videos or watch my content or know, you know, follow me on whatever. But don't be shy. I'm just a normal guy that likes to shoot the stuff. So looking forward to meeting as many people as possible this week and making so many new connections. And uh, thank you so much for supporting the content. I really appreciate it. And until next time, have a beautiful day. Thank you.